just got back from Sogoro and we went home, took showers, or cleaned up a little bit, and then we're going to lunch with Teresa's sisters, and we'll see where we go. I think it's uh, a family member's place called Wingen. Uh, I was supposed to do a video there, but um, I'm still waiting for the owner to give me a call and see when it's a good, uh, good, uh, good time to do it. But we're going to go there for lunch, and we'll see you when we get there. Thanks for watching. So we've arrived here at the wing it. That's just ahead. Past the roosters and the chickens. <laughs> These are all fruit stands and vendors. Oh, maybe we'll get some sake. Hey guys, so when we came in, we found out that the restaurant that I was going to do a YouTube on is going to be leaving this store. Uh, apparently the, o the owner wants to use the property for something, so they have to find a new place soon. Uh, but we'll be sure to follow them to see where they go. And I'll be making a video on their um, new establishment. So be looking out for that video. Okay guys, so I don't know if you can see it from the video, I had a wing that was like this one, only it was completely covered in this red sauce, that's what's left with over there, and all I can tell you is I had food on my lips, but I couldn't feel it because my lips were so numb, it was so spicy, super spicy, but the wings are very tasty. And what do you call this beef? Bihon? Bihon? You know, a pancit. Pancit, bihon? Pancit, canton. Canton. And which one is that one? Tuna. 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 Kabitsi. It's kabitsi? Tuna, sweet and sour. Tuna, sweet and sour. It's and then the same thing down there. And the, the food is really delicious. Very good. And uh, I just had to let you know about that. Mm. It's dangerous in case you come here when they reopen the new place. Wing it. Don't eat the red one unless you like super spicy food. Okay, guys, so we just finished eating. I'm just going to go around the table and introduce everyone here. This is all family. Everybody, everybody knows Teresa. Hi, I'm Annie. Oh, <laughs> But at least, uh, hi, I'm Chef Val. I'm the owner of uh, Wing Unlimited. Please, uh, please and come and visit. It's very delicious. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Hey. Still looking for a new place because this this place will be vacated because this will be used by her aunt for flower shop. So we will transfer to another location and, and until now we are still looking 
looking for a place for doing it and limit it. So by four now we cannot we cannot tell you the the, the location that we're going to transfer to. And when, when, when is your last day here? Uh, we will be staying here until December of this year. Oh, December. Okay. Most probably by January we will have another location. Okay. Okay. And I'll, and I'll do a follow up. Guys, so if you're in town, come here. Come eat. Enjoy the food. It's really good food. Uh, they'll be here to the, at least December. So. You have no excuses. And if, if you would like me, try the red wing. You only try it once. That's about as, as much as I could take. <laughs> it was really spicy, but the food was delicious. Thank you so much for having us, guys. All right, guys, so we're just leaving the restaurant now. The girls went across the street to get some hair products to take with them to Cebu. Over here they have all kinds of, uh, last time we came we walked across the street there and we walked over here. Take care. Thank you. And they've got all kinds of foods here. Watch repair. Goldfish. All kinds of fish here. Uh, a little bakery. Vendors here everywhere selling bananas from that corner all the way down here. Last night we were looking for bananas and we couldn't even find one. Some dry fish, some poultry. If you want to buy fresh chickens? More chickens. I left my lights on. I guess we'll find out if uh, the battery is holding up. I turned the lights on, plus it was raining. had to get the phone from the car because she forgot the phone. And I ran into these boots. Nice. So we're heading back to the car and I noticed this plant here.
guess we're going back to the car. Hey guys, so after some rest, we just sat around talking. I didn't really get any sleep since we got up at 2.30 this morning. So, uh, Evelyn and Annie are getting ready to go to uh, get on their boat ride for tonight. It's a 12 hour ride. And before they do, we're gonna go out to dinner. All right guys, so it looks like I have it. All right guys, so it looks like there's correction. We're not going to Boulevard. We'll come to the pier. Pier's right here. It's where the boat will be leaving from. For Evelyn and Annie. Everybody Wait, comes around. Yeah. There's my wheat. Oh, I'm ready. Like this? What is that? Pork chop. Pork chop? Yep. I ordered two. Hmm? One for you, pork chop, and one breast chicken. Pichu. Pichu? Okay. Pichu. You like a pie? Liver. So that's liver and hearts for you guys that are watching at home. <laughs> Pork chops, intestines. What's this one? Uh, chicken skin. Chicken skin. Chicken skin. Skin? Chicken skin. And this one is uh, pork belly? This is pork. Like this? I never had that before. Did you let me? What's this one? No, do not. Backbone. Backbone. Oh, backbone. Chicken. Chicken. Hot dogs. Uh, leg quarters and intestines skin skin. and chorizo. Chorizo. Oh. And then the the rice. Hanging, hanging. Twenty pitcho, lima kabatik, lima atay, dua kacang, satu chorizo. Oh, oh. Ambil sini mo. Buat ni lang sa ni or. Alright, we're going in. Fresh fish. Fresh. Yeah. Fire. It's very in it in here. Not enough fans. In it means it's hot. Alright guys, so the food has arrived. Some here. Some over there. already up to so we're about to eat so we'll see you in a little bit after we get done thanks for watching all right guys so i had one vegetable and a half of pork chop that's all i could that's all i could eat This rice that we got in the first one, and then I'll show you there's a different rice that comes in the leaves. This is the rice right here, more chicken, more rice right here. All that is rice, soy sauce, calamansi, which is like a uh, kind of like a uh, the flavor is unlike uh, limes, and unlike key limes as well. They have their individual flavor, and you mix it with the soy sauce, and then you put a little bit of vinegar. And it's uh, used for dipping. It's very delicious. I put it on my rice, and then you can also add some sili, which are tiny little peppers, or very tiny, like the ones I have over here. 
Neniguro kami ng anumano mayamo. And this is one of the rare restaurants that serves the larger size napkins, as you can see. It's suitable for two for one lift. So while everybody's finished eating, we'll go out and take a look outside. So this time of night you're going to find a lot of uh, people selling and cooking barbecue on the street or on the sidewalk all the way down and so you'll see a lot of smoke and usually at night this is really full of people there's motorcycles usually parked all up and down this here right now there's just a couple there's my wheat's motorcycle right there yeah, so we finish eating here and then we'll probably maybe uh, walk for a little bit, walk some of the food off and walk the girls over to the pier right there. The boat is just on the other side and that's at 7 p.m. So it'll probably be dark by that time because it usually gets dark about 6.15, 6.30. So we'll see. We'll wait for them to come out. Okay, there's Bang Us, which is a fish that's grilled. And so that's very delicious as well. well. It looks like they have macaroni salad, halo halo, tapioca, some cake, mango float, and mango shake. So this is just one of the many places that you can come and eat. This time of night, this one is called Pure View, in case you want to come and visit. The chicken was a little dry, but um, I guess that's something you could probably let them know not to overcook it. Uh, the pork chop was dry as well, so could have to do with the chef. But right now it's not that busy, so you don't see many people walking around. Well, we've been down here when um, it's gotten pretty, pretty thick and there's smoke all over the place from all the barbecue being sold and of course all the beer drinking. Oh, and before I forget, and how this is, how this is cooked is on the uling, which is uh, coconut, uh, coconut uh, charcoal, and you can see that they have a fan there. The fan blows the uh, the charcoal, keeps it hot. I use it on the new grill that we got, the little miniature one, until we get our big grill out. Um, I just use a small fan, uh, piece of cardboard, and that's what I use to keep it hot. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it gets pretty hot. You don't really need to fan it that much. <laughs> 